to my channel so if you get the power one if you're new i hope that you join please like comment down below subscribe hit the notification bell so you never miss out any of my uploads babies also if you return subscriber welcome back loves peace love and light beautiful bigger and bolder to you all thank you so much for being here with me along this journey if you're interested in my patreon personal readings that's down below that that consists of 18 plus readings and exclusive bonus readings that would never be on youtube they all will be on patreon yeah, so we're going to hop right into it. Before we hop into it, I just want to give a disclaimer again. 80 plus videos are no longer on YouTube because they flag me a lot. And they flag videos after that that's not even 18 plus, And they made they, you know, their point. So this is going to be on Patreon. And other videos, I just want to say this as well. I'm not going to be openly supporting any more tarot readers. I'm just going to support tarot readers behind the scenes. Because I hear all the time how tarot readers are shady and da 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 never experienced that until now i recently uh shouted out a, a tarot reader on my channel i love that person's channel it was actually one of my favorite tarot readers and it was very shady to me at least that's how i took it only because this person made the video that i shared on my page private and it was kind of unfortunate because i seen the people support this person and things like that so when i did it was a problem and it's like okay and i know i didn't say anything wrong i'm not doubting myself on anything it was just you know you never know how people would take it if you support them or anything like that so i just stayed in myself you know and i'm gonna stay in my lane and, keep, and it's gonna continue to be that way so i just want to sit out there i do support tarot readers but it's going to be behind the scenes from now on um so we're going to go ahead and hop right into it loves peace love and light beautiful gift and to you all so how would, you, how would your crush describe you to others? How would your crush describe you to others when you're not around? Um, people that they're talking to amongst other, what would they say? How would, how would power one crush describe them to others? Ooh, so people could feel like you're somebody where you come off as introverted. They feel like you have to be by yourself or you're social when you want to be. They feel like you're very adventurous. Um, they can feel like you're well known, or they feel like a lot of people know you by face or by name, or you can seem like you're well known. They can seem feel like you're a big deal outside of whatever this person know you at. They feel like you're a big deal. Just it can even be the way that you look. You know, you would look so apart where you keep yourself up to the point where this person can think that you are a big deal or you know something like that. So this is how what they tell their friends. Oh, for some of you guys, um, your crush could be um telling people like they been bad or whatever some of y'all if your crush has like your social media or anything like that they can even be showing people like old photos of you like man they been bad or they been look good or da 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 or the person could even like to go all the way back <laughs> on pictures and things like that that you have like from years ago on your timeline or in your phone or things like that they actually show people that not for all of you guys but majority of you they actually show people and gas you up so yeah Oh, we got gossip. Oh, okay. So some of you guys, they actually can gossip about you to a fake friend. Here, so they can even gossip to you to a friend that may tell them. So, you know, this could be a friend that even tries to sabotage things because it's coming up as a fake friend. Somebody that they can't trust, but they do gossip about you to this person. So this person brags about you to other people that they necessarily can't trust. I don't know why they can't trust these people or this person, but they do brag about you to not the best group of people or that support them or that's good for them i am seeing that here um oh for some of you guys they can even feel like um you know how to fight you know how to handle yourself or they're very well respected um they can feel yeah if you're especially if you're a mask and they can feel like you know how to handle yourself or you look like you can handle him so they're telling um others that you're strong um they also tell people that you're very confident so this is how they would describe you to others yeah for some of you guys they could um say that you're thick or whatever that's what they would tell your crush would be telling others. They could be telling you people that you um lost weight or whatever. Yeah, but some of y'all this person but looking at your camera roll or you know camera roll like online where they can see they can see like times or different time frames of you and different stuff like that. This is y'all have a crush or someone that actually looks at your social media. I'm like, man, look at them at this time. Or oh, they lost weight, or oh, they look good, you know, shit like that. It's a lot of you know, stuff like that. So they actually watch you more often. You know, I don't know who this person is to y'all. I don't know if the person, you know, know y'all more than that, but they got your social media in some way. This can be somebody that you don't even know found your social media. So it could be the case too, because people do that. Trust me. Um, so your crush can be telling people that um you you innocent, but you th throw rocks and hide your hands. Or this can even be ooh y'all. This came out um on this fake friend. So some of you guys, this can be 
thing where this crush can be hyping you up to their people that they you know talk to whatever and they can be saying like are you sure this person's not going to be drama they look innocent but then how you know they're not how you know they're not crazy or how you know they're not this so they do have some people that's kind of giving the speculation to doubt or try to doubt you i don't think this person is doubting anything about you because this person knows that they don't know you this person knows that people are speaking on you without even knowing you so it's like it's like somebody saying something about somebody that they never met only what you told them and i don't think this person told them anything negative so it's like for somebody to come up with a negative, I don't know, like assumption or anything like that, and they don't know you and they don't know who you, this is by looking at you or stuff like that. Yeah. So I feel like this person's friends or whoever this fake friend is, because a fake friend card is out here, whoever this person is that they gossip to or talk to you about, I'll talk about you too. Um, this is not the best friend that's influenced, the best influence on this person. They could be telling this person that you, I'm, I'm telling you what they're saying because it's here. You know, I noticed about what they say to others, but I also get what they be saying back or what this person saying back. And this person is fake and not to be trusted. And they said that, you know, they need to get to know you longer or they can't, they shouldn't trust you so soon. Or how you know you're not going to bring a lot of trauma. How you know that they're not crazy and stuff like that. I don't know. We're going to move on for that though. But this is what they say to you. Oh, we got mad that you're excelling, hitting enemy. That's what it is. So this person friend doesn't like them because they're excelling. And maybe this person friend's like, this is how this is how this person friend feels. And I don't know why this is coming through the reading, but it's here. So we're gonna go ahead and stick what comes out because clearly it needs it's meant to be said. So um yeah, so this person friend feels some type of way because their friend is excelling. And honestly, you look good. You look good as hell. Y'all bad man or woman you're bad and this friend already has the, so this friend already dislikes this person already fake because they're low-key upset at their friend from excelling growing and they feel like their friend is outgrowing them which makes them feel like they're leaving them behind or they just feel left behind they can feel stagnant and with you being in this yeah this it's oh y'all the way these cars are out here this 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 friend just feels like this person is upgrading and now they got you as a crush and you're actually interested in the back. It's like, that's it. You got the girl, you got the car, the house, the crib. If this is a female, you got the looks, you got the clothes, accessories, or you got this and that. You don't cry. It's the same thing, you know? So this is how a lot of their friend is kind of like, this friend is purposely trying to sabotage or pur purposely trying to doubt seeds in this individual's head because of this. So yeah, um, we're going to move on from that. So um, this person could be telling that you're a celibate or y'all, um, not sleep with anybody that could be saying like in a celibate in they not or in they um don't sleep around or in they this or in they that it's like this person is literally going off on y'all like telling them not off on y'all but you know like gassing you up on them this is how your crush would describe you tell others about you they're like yeah they celebrate yeah they're not easy they're not giving up to anybody da 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 that shit's sexy this is what they saying this is what they talk about y'all um, we got LGBTQ, so if you are attracted to the same gender or anything like that, or this is one that's the same gender of you, this is what they're saying. And that's not going to be for everyone, but some of y'all, this is what this person is saying. Oh, we got revenge and get malicious. Y'all keep trying to tell y'all. The, all these cards, all the bad cards are falling out on top of this fake friend. Every bad card, literally. And then all the good cards are falling on top of each other. That says a lot about this damn pile. But God damn, that's so negative. So this friend is trying to get revenge on this person. They're, I don't. This friend is jealous that this person is successful. Their life is upgrading. Their life is changing. This friend feels like they're stagnant. They feel like they're being left behind. So their way of uh, trying to fuck this person up or whatever is trying to make them miss out on an opportunity with you. And this person is trying to get even. So I don't know what this person is trying to get even for or whatever. I don't know if it's like an internal thing or if it's just something that maybe this person did to this person in the past. I do not know. But this person is trying to get even with this person. That they and then the thing is, is this person, the whoever your crush is, does not realize that this friend is fake. They don't realize that. So if this is a masculine. They got another fake friend, or whatever. They got a fake friend that they don't realize is a fake friend. This is a woman. She has a fake friend, and they don't realize that her friend is fake, or they don't know that their friend is fake. They don't know that the friend has hidden intentions. So yeah. We're going to go ahead and move on. They say, yeah, bad and bougie. Kicking and dope and oozy. My nigga savage ruthless. We go hunting and hunting around too. That's what's coming through. They feel like you bad and bougie. You're like, man, power one bad as hell. They bougie. Keep their stuff up. Look good. A lot of people. Um, um, you, uh, you know what's coming through. Like, I don't know. Y'all remember that post? I forgot what rapper was. But they said my girl look better than Rihanna. This is how your crush is. Like, man, they bad as fuck. Like, man, 
everybody want to be like them. Everybody want to look like this. Everybody trying to be like them. Your crush literally gasses y'all up. Telling other people that, telling their people, whoever they talk to people about, this fake friend people, they describe it to us like, man, everybody's trying to be like them. Everybody want to look like them, you know? You can have certain features that a lot of people want, a lot of people go pay for, um, a lot of people would wish to look like you, whatever. They feel like you one of the baddest people that I'm here. I'm here. Put your baddest half up on the floor. <laughs> if y'all know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about um um dancing dolls or Miss D was like some bring your baddest half up, put your baddest half us on. I'm, I'm like I'm putting my, I'm only putting the baddest half us on the floor. That's what's coming through. So they saying um this is how your 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 crush is the kind of person where they would they would be like my girl is better than all you niggas. All you bitches out here. My girl, this is the kind of person or guy. This is the kind of person that would gas you up. Literally saying, man, I got the finest this. So y'all got somebody that would actually gas you up. So whoever this crush is, this is they would definitely gas you up. This is somebody that, this person, if you're a woman, this person is going to make you feel good. They're going to give you a compliment. If you're a masculine, this somebody that's going to give you a compliment. Um, if They said that you got your money together, your finances together. You got, you got everything together. Um, they could be wondering, um, some of you that got your TikTok, YouTube, or they got your, um, Instagram. Others of you, they could be, um, telling people that you, if you're not on social media, they could be telling people that they thought you would be big on social media, or they thought you had clout on social media for the ones that don't. They could be telling people like, yeah, I thought they was this and that. Like, look at it. Like, damn. Or whatever. You sure they, ain't, you know, got no following or whatever? Because something the way y'all look, y'all look like, I'm hearing... I'm hearing ordinary boy. La, 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 la. That's what's coming through here. So, um, I mean, no, it's, it's American boy. I'm not dumb, man. Well, fuck you, y'all. We just go scratch it. Just go scratch it. <laughs> so, they could even be saying that you're an animal lover. Um, they could be saying that you got a pure heart or you seem very real. You seem very genuine. I'm hearing real. I'm hearing. I'm hearing it's real, no games, no gimmicks. I ain't playing with you niggas at all. This is what they're telling me. They say, yeah, they seem very genuine. They seem very real. Your crush can be the kind of person that fall in love very quickly or they're very smitten very quickly, especially if it's somebody that when you check in a lot of boxes when it comes to the person, they can become smitten very quickly. Yeah, very handsome. They saying how handsome you are, how gorgeous you are, how well dressed you are. This is how this person gadgets you up. Some of you guys are learning something new and they know about it. They're telling people about that. Some of y'all, they telling people that you're a different race or some of y'all are a different uh, race than this person or different skin tones. Not for everyone. Some of y'all, they be telling people that you know multiple languages or you bilingual. That's not for everyone, but for a lot of you, yes, that's the case. But they said you sweet, but you definitely put them in their place. <laughs> Or well, they can say that you have a resting bitch face, but you're very sweet. Very sweet. Even if you're masculine, you would come off as intimidated. But when you speak, you're very caring, very genuine. So this is what your crush is describing you to others. I'm going to put you a couple more cards, babes. How is your crush describing you to others? Yeah, but some of you, they can, um, yeah, we got cosmetic surgery. So some of you guys, if you got cosmetic surgery, you're saying that it looks good. For the ones that don't, they could be saying people pay to look like you. To be honest, I mean, I'm getting two different messages. So that's how they resonate. Leave it doesn't. Or they say that y'all can have deep conversations, or they feel like you're very deep, or whatever. Like they seem like you're a, a down to earth person. Um, you definitely hold this person's attention. They can say that you're very charming. They can say that nobody has hold their attention in a minute, or nobody, or they didn't. I'm hearing they have not liked nobody in a minute. Or so you, so this person really uh, sparked about you. I'm getting, I don't know why I'm hearing that word is riz that everybody keep using. Like, man, I'm hearing, you know, your riz, whatever. I don't know what that shit mean, but I'm getting that for the ones, you know, that like, resonate with that. But um, they also can say that you work on, you got a job on the side, you make money on the side, or you do something on the side to make money. And they say they like your hustle. Oh, y'all could, could be saying that you're an entrepreneur or you make money on the side and you got your side hustle or side gig. And they could say that you're very versatile with the way you switch things up. If you talk about your hair, your nails, or your clothes, even your belt. Because, you know, some women pay attention to you changing your belt and something like that they do. Trust me. Or they could say that you'll be a positive ship in their life. Like, you good. Like, you be, you're different. They could say, man, I'm they different or whatever. This is somebody that's gassing you up. So, probably your person's actually gassing you up to people. They ain't got nothing but good shit to say. Oh, see? The person saying that you're their preference, you're their desire, like that, you is this person's preference. That's why this person, this why the person could be saying that you look better than Rihanna, or they could be talking like that. They don't even have to say that. The way they talking, like, man, this motherfucker, um, I'm here, I bought off this bitch, and this bitch was regular. That's how people feel. They're like, man, like, this person really bought off this bitch, huh? They really bought off them, you know? That's how they feel. 
they can say that um for some of you guys you do get a lot of views or some of you guys y'all do have your own shit or whatever when it comes to social media having platforms and stuff like that others of you that can say that again they thought you were bigger than what you were and that's not a bad thing you know you you come off like a big deal people respect you you come off like a big deal so this is what they're telling others um, they can say that they don't like putting their pride aside, but they'll put it aside for you or whatever. You know how people say, like, yeah, I won't do this, but I'll do this for them. You know what I'm saying? You ever heard people say shit like that? I know. People do say, say shit like that. Trust me. Well, they can say that you got standards. This is what your crush like about you. They know that you got standards. Something about you not giving it up to people or you don't get time to date to just anybody. You don't let anybody just talk to you, have a conversation with you. They And you ain't impressed easily as well. So they know a lot of shit don't tickle you to make you laugh. <laughs> so this is what I'm getting. Um, they like a lot of things about you. Let me put some more cards. Queen of Wands. Damn, you look good, power one. Damn, you a bad motherfucker. I'm, I'm here. Ha, ha. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You know that. You know that's off of you, OG, because that's off of uh, love and basketball. <laughs> Some of y'all, you actually could be a female and know how to play sports really well, really good, or you can. You it, just, it was something that maybe this person could do that you can do too, and you just as good at it. And they impress with you. Some of y'all know how to do something that most females don't, and they're like, "Damn, okay, come through then for the women." You know, if you're a masculine, you could be a good basketball player. Some of y'all, not for all of y'all, but that's here. Um, that can be telling people about that. Oh, for some of y'all hearing, what's that, um, what's that fucking weekend song we like talking about, like, um, I mean, I'm here, just, I'm here, just keep it on the low. I can't even take no more. I don't know the lyrics, y'all, so don't clock me, all right? But I'm getting, I'm hearing, if you play me, just keep it on the low. This person's saying that you find us for the day afraid of you wasting their time. I'm here. Oh, damn! I'm getting so many songs for y'all. Why that one song coming through by Miguel? Oh, what? Oh, I'm mean, one song. Boom! Light it up. You can... No, it ain't even that song. It's the other song. Uh, yeah. I ain't feeling alone. It feel like I'ma be at space. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's why I wanna love. How many drinks it gonna take for you to get with me? Yeah, I got money, but I got time, but I don't want to waste my time. Yeah, that's what's coming through, y'all. So they can't even say that they're not trying to get their time wasted by you. They're not trying to get their time wasted. You better as fuck. They were saying, man, I can't waste their time or whatever. This person is actually pretty serious about y'all. Yeah, we got the um, two of wands. See, this person through y'all switching up on them. They say, man, you fine as fuck. Or whatever. This person don't want you wasting any time because you look good. They fear you switching up on your life. For instance, say you and this person talking and y'all kicking it. And y'all not together or whatever, but y'all kicking, y'all talking. They fear you switching up because somebody else may come along or whatever. You look good. They feel like you, a lot of people want you. A lot of people want you. They want you. They know other people want you. They ain't the only one. They know they're not. You got the judgment card. See what I'm saying? Under the Queen of Wands. People actually openly talk about how attractive you are around your crush. There could be other people that, they can even be talking to people that actually find you, like these people that they be telling people about you, they attracted to you. That's why this person feel like that. Because they be telling people that's attracted to you too. They be like, yeah, this person bad. They be like, yeah, man, that motherfucker bad. Or home just like, man, they fine as hell. Everybody be thinking the same thing in the room. Everybody. Like, that's why they feel like that. We got the Ace of Swords. Yeah, we got the, um, this person, um, don't want, this person want to communicate with you. They want to make plans to communicate with you or come towards you or something like that. Um, this person can want to stimulate you through conversation, speaking to you, getting to know you more. They want to hold a conversation with you. Like, they want to hold one. Like, they don't want to just walk away or whatever. They want, before they get your number, they actually want to conversate you. Stimulate your mind a little bit. Let them know who they are to you or whatever. Like, yeah, I'm such and such, that, da, da, da. What's your day going up with? Yeah, where you from? They want to carry a conversation out with you. They don't want to waste your time. They want to carry out a conversation. I, oh, I'll get like some mama in a damn grocery store. You know how I meet somebody in a grocery store? Oh, we, 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 uh, yeah, we will need to check out 10 minutes, 30 minutes later. Still talking to that one person that one eye. Oh, I ain't seen you in so long. This is this. The person want to carry out a conversation with you. The person want to go on a date with you. They want to talk to you. Um... Let me see. What else comes out? What? We have the four of cups. See, I knew this was coming. This person, look at that. The two of wands in reverse. This person don't want to get rejected. This person don't want to find out that you fuck with them and then you turn to fuck with somebody else. Especially if you, and especially in like the, the single days or whatever. We got the eight of pentacles in reverse. This person don't want to feel like, this person don't want, you, this person don't want to feel like they're not good enough. They don't want to feel like they're underqualified for you. They don't want to feel like they're not good enough. Like, 
you know, I mean, I mean, stop playing with me, bro. What's wrong with me? Even if it's a woman, like, they don't want to feel like they're not good enough. This person, yeah, so, you got the King of Cups in reverse. They, ooh, y'all, y'all look good or whatever, but, but they, it's something about you, um, ooh, y'all, the King of Cups in reverse, all right, out on a judgment card, y'all. I'm keep trying to tell y'all they got some fake friend or fake friend. They literally be gassing you up to people that's attracted to you. And whoever these people is, they literally, I don't know if I've seen that TikTok when I saw it. I'm hearing, this love, this time, I see it. This love, this time, I see it. Y'all got to talk about this girl with this TikTok or whatever. Her caption was me telling my friend that he ugly so I could have it for myself. This is what these people be doing. This is why they don't trust people or whatever. Or um, these people around them that they can't trust. They got motherfuckers literally trying to be manipulated and trying to throw shit in there or whatever so they can have it for themselves. They, they got people looking out for themselves. They're like, look, I want to talk to him or her. So I'm going to tell you some bullshit. Literally, y'all. Uh, this shit is crazy. Anyways, peace, love, and light, beautiful, bigger, and bolder. So, yeah, if y'all want an in-depth reading, my Patreon is down below. So, let's press read. Till next time. Bye. Hello. Welcome to my channel, So We Get the Power to be finances, reader, and resting with you. Please hit the like button. Comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you never miss out any of my upload love. If you're new, I hope that you join and stay. If this really resonates with you, check them out the readings. They may resonate with you as well. If you're a returning subscriber, peace, love, and light. Beautiful, bigger, and bolder. And yeah, um, we're going to hop right into it. Loves. If you're interested in my Patreon channel, personal readings, that's down below in the description box. So this claim here, um, all 18 plus readings are only going to be on Patreon. There's not going to be any 18 plus readings on the channel. I constantly get flagged for them. And they even flag videos after that that is not 18 plus and they made their point y'all trust me and also i just want to put this out there i'm not going to be supporting or openly supporting any more tarot readers if i support tarot readers it will be behind the scenes from now on and just like i told power one there's no issue or anything like that once you guys see any drama nothing at all it's nothing but love i just had a favorite tarot reader that was you know was my favorite tarot reader i, I shouted them out on my channel and stuff like that because the reader resonated with me and i actually really did like them and they actually made the video not public or whatever anymore and i just found that out or whatever and i thought that was really shady or weird or whatever and yeah so i'm just like i'm just going to continue um moving on here on now not supporting terror readers openly and even other people supported this terror reader openly and it wasn't a problem so i'm gonna stay in my damn lane you know i'm not shady and i'll do things like that whatever especially when our people are coming from a place of love and genuine genuinity and you know people are always not going to take that the right way and that's okay so we're going to hop right into love and yeah we're going to move on babe so well, how would your crush describe you to others? How would your crush describe you to others? Let's get into this reading. So, first off, your crush would be some of you guys. Your crush, this is for the ones where you're doing something like this. Your crush could know that you are investing in something. It could be investing in a school, investing into one and saving up for something that you want to do. It could talk about you investing funds into a stock or anything like that. Some of you guys are saving up or you're investing money into something or whatever to make more money or whatever. And your crush knows about this and they're telling others about this, how smart you are, um, how you want better for yourself and how you got this and that going on. This is for the ones where if you have certain things like that going on and you're saving up, you're investing funds, it's, this person knows about it or whatever. Maybe, you know, word of mouth or through you or whatever. This person is telling other people that you got a good head on your shoulder. You invest the funds. They literally saying this person doing this. You can actually inspire your crush a lot. Your crush can actually be inspired by you, which is a beautiful thing. Um, Your crush tells people that you are so gorgeous, so handsome. Y'all look really good. And when I say that, I'll just say it. Like, I really mean it because the cards literally be saying that shit. Y'all look good. Y'all gorgeous. Very attractive. Very well put together. Um, Your crush even said that they can't stop staring at you sometimes. You know, they get a little foggy or whatever. Um, you even get this energy where your crush could talk about you a lot to the point where people are kind of getting irritated about it. Like, okay, you brought them up. Yeah, you said that already. We get it. We get cute. They fine. They this, they that. People are kind of tired of hearing about your ass. Be honest what you talk to. You know, um, that person's definitely breaking you up. So let's see. What does this person tell others about my pile too? How do your crush describe it to others? Oh, so they said that you're very opinionated. They like the fact that you speak your mind. You speak your peace or whatever they like the fact that you do that like the fact that you communicate this person can also tell others they like your voice um because this person can also feel like you also have good reasonings for the things that you do or whatever when you do certain things you have good reasons for it or whatever and this person fuck with that they like how you move because they fuck you move how they would move or whatever especially if it was like a situation that you're in or whatever and you have to be opinionated or voice your reasons reasons or anything like that they actually agree with that 
person also could tell others that you're very discreet, that you're very low key, that you keep things to yourself or whatever. You don't express a lot. Your crush could even tell others like, yeah, you know, I know of them, but I don't know enough of them. It's more to them. this person. Feel like you're very in depth. They feel like it's more to you. They know it's more to you. Um, you can even tell there's deep deepness or depth to you. It's even your energy or your aura. So this is what they're telling people. You're very discreet or low key. They can be telling people that it's hard to find you online or whatever, or you're very discreet or low key. People don't have your social media or they can't find you on social media. Some of y'all names may not be your actual name on social media, so they probably can't find you. I'm getting some of y'all, they looked and they couldn't find y'all. Some of y'all, they made a find y'all. We're going to see if that comes out. But, um, yeah. Um, this person said it's your very, yeah, territorial. So this person could tell your, um, that your crush can ask and be telling people that, you, like, if y'all not together, they can, like, consider you as, I'm hearing my man, that's not my man, or my girl, that's not my girl. This is how they would consider you. They would consider you as, they would call dibs on you, but even if y'all not together, like, yeah, you know my girl, whatever, or, you know, like, yeah, my future bae, whatever. You know, shit, you know how people do shit like that, whatever. This is what they, how they, the terminology that they would use. Oh, give yeah, we got going better than expected. So if y'all went on a date with your crush, they're telling people how the date went better than expected, or if you met your crush or whatever, or whatever, or if your crush heard about you, like if your crush, because sometimes you know people speak about you to other people. If your crush heard about you or whatever, things will end up going way better than expected. Like, or even be people talking about you or whatever. Because some of you guys, I'm getting some of y'all crushes or whatever, you weren't around them or whatever, and people was talking about you. So when they stop saw your face or whatever, it was it's like actually look way better than what they thought you were gonna look, or they just didn't put any expectations on how you would look. They just hear people talking about you or whatever. Now that they see, it's like, damn, they actually, you know. So that's what some of y'all have different experiences. Now if y'all had the same experience, they can resonate with what does it. But this is what they tell you. This is what your crush tell others about you. What you tell them? Ooh, so your crush could be telling people that you took your power back in the situation. If there is something that was going on where your crush seen things were going on, and they can see that you took your power back. If you have to take your power back in some type of situation, and you're around your crush or whatever, and they know something about that, this is what they're saying. You took your power back. They can be talking about a situation too as to how you did that, how you handled that. You carried that shit. You carried yourself. This is what I'm getting. So how what is it, how do they describe it to others? Ooh, so they saying that you got new goals. Um they can be view you as you accomplish anything you set your mind to. Um they can even be describing others that you're working on this new goal or you have something that you're working on or whatever's a goal that you're trying to achieve and you already achieved this goal and you're trying to achieve this. They actually how you love they actually speak speak about you with a lot of inspiration. Or whatever they can say that you get a lot of views online again for some of y'all they do have your online account and others for you they can't find you um they do feel like um you have a lot of views or you get a lot of attention online even if you don't feel like it this person feel like you do um this person can also be telling people that it's hard to get your attention so some of you guys are crushed or whatever has not been able to get your attention or you making them work for it or whatever or things are not as going smoothly as they thought it will and that does not mean that this person's not interested they can be saying yeah man it's hard to get their attention they bad they this so some of you, this is why your crush is hyping y'all up some of y'all your crush don't even you ain't even speak to this person or whatever some of y'all could be crushing on this person or whatever but y'all have not spoken or um it has not been that much conversation for some of you guys or things are still up in the air for others of you this is why the person speak on you the way that they do because from what they see on the outside, from what they know and stuff like that, you look like a prize, you know? So, this is how this person speak on you. This person can say that you're very, uh, you can, this person can even be describing how you got a natural body, that you natural, whatever. Like, yeah, they natural. They can talk about, like, you're pretty natural. Like, you don't need makeup. You're, like, that pretty where you don't need makeup. You don't need no enhancements. None of that. Um, I'm also getting this energy where it's like you're a mask and they can say that you look very well put together. Um, you they can be even be giving, some of y'all got press material for people that they did it in the past. And I'm not getting where it's like, oh, da, 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 da. they be like, yeah, they look better than such and such. They pound the spud, they this, they that. Man, they like get a whole you know, the reason why your crush gas you up is because they thought you would upgrade. Like your personality, your character traits, and you don't looks, it's one thing to find somebody that is better than your ex or whatever, or people that you did in the past, you know, emotionally and things like that. But physically, your body is there. Your face is there. Your face card never declines. It's there, man. Men or women. And this is why they hype you up because it's like they see something in you that they have not been able to find somewhere else. So, um, yeah. Oh, they feel like you're very well educated. I like the way that you speak, how you carry yourself. They find that you to be sexy. Yo, yo, Chris, they actually find you to be very sexy. They feel like you're very charming. They describe you as very charming, very sweet or whatever to other people. They can say that you're somebody that's well traveled. You've been to a lot of states or out of the country, or you've seen a lot of different things. You have a lot of different experiences, especially if this person knows about your experiences and stuff like that. Or they can say that you have a thick skin, especially if you're masculine. You can come off as not being nonchalant, but you come off as really being instilled. You know, opinions really don't hurt you or whatever, or a lot of things don't make you mad or whatever. If you give, if things have a meaning and you give it no meaning, it means anything. It doesn't mean anything. 
this is kind of what I'm getting. So people are talking about you. If you don't, if they're, you don't have, if you don't care about their opinion, their opinion don't matter. This is what I'm getting. So this is how they, what they tell other people about you. That the person can also say that you got this. Maybe you're people. Some of y'all can even be people that said certain things about you, and they end up meeting you. You end up. So yeah, some of y'all that's the case. For some of y'all, where y'all actually have people that could have said certain negative things about you, and your crush could have heard of that, and then they met you. You actually was way better. Yeah, my bad, but loves. I have to clear up some stories. I don't even know where we left off that, but we got to continue this party, though. Okay, so how would your crush describe you to others? What do they say? Yeah, they said that you're very charming. Ooh, they said that you're very classy. This person likes that you come off as you're a woman, you're very feminine, very classy. Ooh, they like that shit about you. Y'all could dress even modest or whatever. You don't show a lot of, or even, it don't even mouth skin. You, could, you don't have to dress exposing yourself to get this person's attention. That's what they like about you. You catch this person's attention when you're fully clothed and fully dressed. They like that about you. That you don't have to, you know. I'm gonna go ahead and move on and get some more messages. What does my pal to crush like about? How do they describe them to others? You have the five technicals. So they can say that you recently um was going through some type of hardship or you let somebody out on the call because this person was giving you hard times. Oh, with the high for some of you guys they can say um that you used to be married or whatever or whatever. They can say that you used to be married or you got a divorce. That's for the ones where you were married or you got a divorce. If that's not for some of you guys, they could be saying that you thought you were going to marry somebody. Especially if like, your crush knows somebody that you knows or know whoever you dated by word of mouth or whatever. Because some of y'all, you do have certain crushes from you guys that do know a little bit more about you than others. So, take resonate with them. We got the two of wands. Yeah, you went down a bit from... Yeah, some of y'all, they said that you was married. You walked away from your marriage. Or, or you could be getting a divorce and you're going down a different path or whatever. Or, or, or something like that. But this is what your crush described to other some of you guys that say that you're married and you walk away from this marriage, you're leaving it out in the cold, and you're going down a different path, you're planning to go down a different path. Others of you can just be saying that you already this already happened. It's not for everyone, okay? So don't worry about that, it's not for you. You have the three of wands here. Let me see what else they got. So y'all um some of you guys, you and your crush could be friends for some of you guys, so y'all just like associates, not for all of you guys, but I'm here seeing here where y'all could be associates. We have the page of cups here. We have the high priestess in reverse. Your crush can also be as um young as well. If you look very young, even if you're older, you look very young. So they're like, yeah, they look young as hell. I thought they was this age, or I didn't know, or whatever, or they they was older or whatever. And I thought they was this age, or you know. So take a resume, leave a dozen, put yourself on whatever side of the coin that you fall on, babe. But this is what your crush and how they describe you to others. Um, they also could be saying that you wasn't using your intuition at one point in time. Now you're going down the right path or something like that or whatever. Again, some of you guys, this person know a little bit more information about you, you know. You have the Queen of Cups. Yeah, you no longer giving them you you moving on. And you're, or your crush could be describing you as planning or whatever, traveling, moving on for something. They can even say that you're very confident, emotionally mature. They can feel like you're very sweet or very giving, charming. I like the fact that you're not cold or you don't come off as being cold or not, you know, inactive in some type of way. Even if you talk, even if you don't talk to a lot of people and you're introvert, you're still very sweet. Ooh, yo, um. Ooh, for some of you guys, your crush could be telling others that they thought you, that you were going to be conceited. So if your crush thought you were going to be conceited or whatever, you changed your crush mind about you. That's where I'm getting going better than expected. Some of you guys... It's, it's a lot of different messages from that card. Others of you, is, I'm literally getting this energy where this person could have thought that you were going to be a conceited. I'm mean, back in the chips and all of this, but from side of root beer, this person thought that you was gonna be big headed, conceited, cocky, but you was actually very sweet, very hum humble. It made this person view you differently. Um, this person just view you as self confident. So your crush viewed you at one point as maybe egotistical or conceited, but they just view you as very, just very confident. You're you're sweet. So when this person spoke to you or they heard you interact with somebody else or other people or whatever they would say okay this person is actually pretty sweet i thought person you know you gave this, gave this person another opinion you have the four cuss in reverse yeah but the, yeah you could have thought it was gonna be like some type of lack of enjoyment or whatever something like um you like you was gonna suck the fun out of things because you think you did or that Ooh, we got the four of wands they be telling other people that they want a relationship with you and stuff like that but they may feel like they're not um their name they can be some people that yeah they can be describing you to people like yeah they find so i'm in a relationship with them or i want to talk to them i want to ask them out i want to get to know the long term or whatever but i feel like this person um this person can be telling people that they may not be too flashy for you 
it's something about it's i'm trying to tell you something about the way that you look the way that you carry yourself and it's something about you going better than what this person expected like if this person seen you by name or whatever you look or it can even be you know this person on social media and they thought okay you look good but you don't know because you maybe wear makeup or maybe because you're on social media and there's filters i don't know y'all y'all gonna have to let me know down in the comments but what i can say is that this person things were better than expected especially if you went on a date with this person if you did it and they heard you through word of mouth with other people and they met you it went better than what they expected it went against what everybody was saying about you so this is what I'm getting here. And, if, and some of you guys, they thought you're going to be like conceited and have a big head or something like that. They want a relationship with you. This person felt like you were very fun. You would bring, bring a lot of joy into their life. Maybe to describe you as, man, they fun as fuck. They adventurous. They like to get out and about. They they feel you feel like you're very well traveled or you've seen a lot. That's how they view you. You've seen a lot. You know a lot. And I'm, and I'm hearing it's not what you know, but who you know. So this person feels like you know people. You, you, uh, you, you've seen a lot of things. They feel like you're very wise. Pretty feel like you um working on something or whatever. You you your hard work is paying off. We got to pay the source. Oh, your crush is watching y'all. So some of y'all, your crush is watching y'all. Others of you, this person tried to find y'all and they couldn't. Oh, but some of y'all, they be watching you and show show other people your page. <laughs> they be showing other people your page. We have the three of swords in reverse. This is some y'all crush could even been heartbroken over somebody and they end up liking y'all. Like they could have been heart you somebody was you know how like you heartbroken over someone and then you meet somebody else and it's like you forget all about that person. Your crush was actually heartbroken over a relationship and they forgot all about that shit. Even if they're not together. Oh y'all with the four cups in reverse, y'all. Your crush was in a relationship with someone, maybe they broke up or whatever. This person don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so funny. Like, y'all crush was heartbroken over somebody and ever since they met you or whatever. They don't give a fuck about that person. They don't care about that person. They over it. Like, this person demeanor changed once they met you or once they seen you. And you know what's crazy for some of you guys? This person was like, I don't know what this person ex did or whoever that was dating or whatever. I don't know. This, but whoever this person is, they hurt this person's feelings or their emotions. So this person was in their head like, you yeah, know, I'm about to get my shit together, man. I'm about to get my shit together for myself. Move on. I don't, you even got the Wheel of Fortune here, y'all. Let me get let me get into this Wheel of Fortune. But before I move on, let me tell you what your crush do. Let me tell you what they did. They like some, man, I'm about to get my shit together. I'm about to stun. You know how you like, you, you get going through a heartbreak or whatever, and you get your shit back together, being the baddest on the flow? This is what I'm getting about y'all oh, and your, your crush. It's like, man, that motherfucker this and that. I'm about to get my shit together, get my get back to myself and shit. You know what I'm saying? I look good. Da, da, da. The person building up their confidence or whatever. Basically, I'm here. I'm just stunting on my ex bitch. Now, I'm not saying that this person is stunt. And it's crazy because maybe this is why this person be comparing you to their ex or people. And I'm not getting that this person is comparing you because they still want this person. This person is genuinely feel like you're an upgrade. There's no better feeling to feel like someone that you did is better than your last better than the upgrade okay this is how this person feel and this is why they gas you up the way they do and i'm also seeing this energy where it's like this person's in the process of wanting to get their life together whatever really basically this person happiness they person person wanted to be so happy that they stuck on their ex so happy that i'm so happy with my life but i'm not getting no fake happy i'm getting asked again back to myself being back happy and stuff like that and they met you and you took their whole attention off of whoever this person is. They don't want to care about their relationship. We got the will of fortune here. They're like, look, my motherfucking goddess is here. My goddess is here. My god is here. Fuck out of here. I hear I'm here. Who would have thought I get you? My dang Caesar. We got the moon card. And this is hidden from y'all. Yes. Oh Lord. <laughs> So this is actually hidden from y'all. It's not hidden no more, but this was hidden. Y'all did not know this person was actually getting over a heartbreak when you met this person. Or some of y'all, this person could have even been in a toxic relationship for some of you guys. Where they was actually in a toxic relationship or whatever. If they're in a toxic relationship, this person likes you because you make them realize that they're settling. That's another thing. If this person has a significant other, they're realizing that they're settling. Like, yo... Your, um, your, whoever your crush is, some of them, you, your real crush is in a relationship. I don't judge. They're in a relationship. They feel like you, you make them realize what they could have, what they can't have. Like, they, like, I'm here, I mean, I can't, you make this person realize they can have so much more. So much more. Um, yeah, so, and then others of you, this could be somebody again where they was, you know, set over somebody else. Now they, some of y'all could work with this person. You don't have to. Because you do got this 10 of pinnacles here. Somebody, it could be somebody that you worked with and you left the job for some of you guys. It's not for everyone. 
but uh because the money was slow wasn't enough money that's for a couple of y'all but um yeah so this is y'all crush this is what they how they describe it to others this is what they saying the little side note of things that they going through and the moon card is just hitting some of you guys you may not know that this person's in a relationship or whatever and some of you guys, this person was in a relationship or whatever, and you may did know. Other stuff, you you probably didn't even know this person was heartbroken over somebody else. And they don't. And the reason why it don't seem like it or whatever is because the person don't give a fuck. <laughs> this person don't care. Like this person does not care. So ever since they met you, started talking to you, you have been on this person's mind. Attention has been on you. Peace up and life for bigger and bolder days. Until next time, I'm gonna give you all the um signs because I forgot to get power. I don't know. Did I get power on the signs? Damn it. I probably didn't. I'm going to give y'all the science stuff. So, power with you over here. I love y'all. So, sorry. <laughs> you know, your big A one leg. Okay, let's get into this. Aries. We got Taurus. We got Aries. Taurus. Damn. We got Pisces. Libra. Aries. We got Cancer. We got Gemini. Leo. Cancer. Sagittarius. Pisces. Just like that. Peace up and like your bigger. Both this could be your science or this person's science. Bye.